So I decided to put this uh, trunking on. Kind of pops open like that and hide all the wires under it. But what I've created is a bit of a swimming pool. So I'm going to take it off and try and reroute the cables a different way. So I'm going to start off this video with a bit of an apology. Um, this CCTV system was fitted during lockdown and where we were at lockdown I didn't want to film anything. So I don't actually have any film of me unboxing this or anything like that. All I've got is uh, footage of it being used um, and then footage of me changing things. So uh, do apologise for that. Obviously it doesn't really matter. Um, connections wise the system is very simple. It's a screen and four cameras. It comes with all the cabling you'll need including extension cables if you have got really long runs. Uh, it runs off 12 volts and each camera has a 12 volt connector and a video connector. Um, so the little red connector and a little yellow connector for the wires just to run straight through. So obviously weather seal the connectors if you're putting them outside the van or if you wanted to drill holes and connect them inside you know that would work perfectly too. I originally mounted everything just as a kind of temporary measure just the fact that like I say we were in lockdown and I didn't want to raise awareness as to where we were and what I was doing. So that's why this might look a bit of a hodgepodge video, but I still think it's worth sharing. Is that these sticky pads, they don't really stick. <laughs> so uh, if you are going to fit these, uh, you've got to screw them in. So you would uh, take off these little two screws in there and then two screws down the bottom there. So you can see four screws all together. So you take off the four screws and then that backing plate then you'd screw in using the different four screw holes. And you'd obviously screw it into the side of your van. And you can reroute the cable on the inside if you want to do that, seal it all up, and then you don't have to use this then. Because what's happened is the glue's actually come off the back plate. So it's not very good at all. But I did kind of put them up because I wanted to temporarily try it out. And what I've realized is these are pretty good, these side cameras, so I am going to actually uh, fix them on properly. But the back one and the front one, these things, they're pretty naff in all fairness. There's not a very wide angle on them. And obviously, like you can see, they're bloody ugly. So I've got some different ones to change in for that. But as part of the kit, you know, two of those and two of those and a screen for 80 odd quid. You cannot complain about that at all. You get plenty of cable, which say like I've, uh, I've hidden it all under there. Um, but it's pretty good, really. Um, like I said, I'm just going to remove these uh, these bits of trunking and hide the cables. Probably tuck it under there or something, because um, you can see where the solar cables are tucked under. So I'll do that. So I'm not creating a swimming pool at the back of the van. And then after that, um, I've got. Uh, slightly better cameras for the back which I'm going to fit right down the, the back there because they are very discreet. So there's two reasons for selecting this camera. It's size obviously and then the fact that the uh, cable connections are the same as that one. So it's just a swap, disconnect that, reconnect that, power's there and then we're done. But the bonus that I found is you can actually flip the image round. So one of the problems I've got with the front camera is when you look out that way, the left is right and the right is left. So uh, these allow you to flip the image. So you can change it around the other way. Um, apparently when people reverse, they like to see it the wrong way around as if they looked over the shoulder um, so they can see left from right, right from left. Um, and these cameras don't do that a standard whereas this one allows you to do that so um, yeah pretty good really so I thought I'd just explain why I've actually changed the cameras so this footage you're seeing right now uh, shows the original cameras so this top two images um, are the original big bulky cameras 
and the bottom two are the cameras that I'm still using. Now here's obviously the nighttime version of what you just looked at and I've realized as well I've not gone through the options of what you can actually do as far as screen modes. So using the remote control or the buttons on the actual screen itself you can flick between you know left camera, right camera, front camera and back camera and then you can also have a variation of split side by side, split front to back, um, quad and a different quad layout as well so the screen actually does provide quite some decent little features in all fairness. So these are the new cameras I bought, like I say they're uh, a nice neat bit of kit really and um, they come with a hole saw, some extra bit of cabling for the power and for the uh, for the signal cable as well for the video cable um, and generally I think that's a much neater solution than that and yet it's the same camera inside so um, you've still got night vision capabilities in there as well and obviously that I can put over the back there tuck it away in a corner or something and hide the cable around the edge or something like that um, and that one's going to give me 170 field of view 170 degree field of view whereas that one is only around about 120 so yeah it's uh, Quite remarkable how good they are really but yeah i'm gonna mount that somewhere over there in the middle probably right at the very crest of the back um, and then just reroute the cable back along here and then i can get rid of this daft ugly one so there we go in comparison <laughs> the one that came with it and the one that i just installed which gives just as clear image day and night and a whole wider field of view I think you'll agree that that's a far better upgrade. There we go, that's the front one installed. So, I'm going to get pretty much all the angle from the front. So those are the four cameras set up now. The two original are the side cameras, left and right. And then the two new ones, the tiny little dome cameras are there. So, as you can see, these are clean, but because of the infrared LEDs in them, they're casting those weird shadows. Whereas these are good night vision cameras, but there's no um, actual LED in them. So these are the little bullet cameras I've got. And I think they're way better. You can see everything that's going on. Whereas there, you really can't. I mean, if we use that as an example, that's the left hand view down, and that's that little motor home. Whereas if you look there, much clearer so i think i'll probably change them all for those little bullet cameras rather than these little side ones don't like them plus they attract spiders like that as well because of the infrared lights on all the time so there's an example of the difference between the top two which don't have infrared and the side two bottom two that do and i think you'll agree then when you've got a decent amount of light outside the infrared actually work against having a clear image so this is how you make it into a remote viewing cctv so using the uh, neos smart cam and yes um, i need to tidy this cable up i know on a last review i did of the fan when we showed you the fan here and there was a cable just for you know showing you purposes someone said you should neaten that cable up uh, obviously you didn't understand i was just showing you so you know please don't assume i'm that stupid um but here's how we make it viewable uh, we use a uh, normal cctv system you've seen that now so you know that's a screen with the four cameras um and then we use a little neos camera that just sticks up there whenever we go out so we stick that up there and that means then we can see the cameras while we're out and about and um, if anything should move on there somebody walks past or anything like that then the camera will let us know obviously the camera is really good because it's got the magnetic base and we're now getting notifications that we've seen something move you see um, so you can actually just sort of like take it off there when uh, you uh, don't want it because obviously it'd be in the way and then put it back up when you do want it and basically uh, spin the image round 180 because it's upside down right now and that means then you can review 
what's going on outside your van anytime you like those are 20 quid like i said this entire system was 80 quid yes i did change the front and back cameras over because i do think these are better um, so all in all we're probably talking around about 100 pounds and you've got now um, a fantastic CTTV system you can see inside the van, very clear images, uh, quite discreet on the outside as well. And you've also got the opportunity to review the images remotely when you're away from the van. And obviously it records what it's seen as well and it stores it to the cloud. So if somebody walks up to the van, you're going to get all that stored on there before they even get to the inside of the van and try and rip it all out or whatever. So I think it's absolutely brilliant. So that's my CCTV system. I'm sorry you've waited so long, but like I say, I've been tweaking it a little bit and the fact that I've been changing the little cameras and the weather's not been great either. So that's delayed little things. Um, and then obviously um, the little remote function for recording to cloud and all that kind of stuff I'm viewing remotely. Well, it's just making it easy, isn't it? And that's all really I'm about is, you know, putting things in the van that are relatively inexpensive but provide you know the best service or the best kind of uh, features possible um, and I think for the price of it like say about £100 thereabouts I've now got a CCTV system I can see everything inside the van perfectly well um, all the images are nice and clear the cameras outside are quite discreet now so that's a good one for me as well personally and I've got the uh, the little NEOS camera that's going to record everything so send everything straight to cloud using my Wi-Fi and I can review it remotely as well. I can see what's going on while I'm away from the van. I just think it's great. It's a bit of a hodgepodge you might call, but as opposed to the other systems that are on the market that are hundreds of pounds and they're not great or they're really heavy or they're not designed to be in a motorhome and all that kind of stuff. Um, and do they offer cloud backup? And this thing's storing everything it sees on the cloud. And for that, it's pretty cool, really, if you think about it. Um, there we go. So if you've got any comments, I'm sure you will make some comments. Please do leave them in the comments section down below. Um, all the links are going to be um, up on our website. So the CCTV system, uh, the two little cameras that I've changed to, and the NEOS and everything like that, they're up on our website. It's gjot.uk slash motorhome. Um, I'll put the link down in the video description again, um, but I'm just going to basically ping everything back to one location so I can just update that page. So if things change and I can find a better system or something like that, then I can just update that page. So if you're watching this video then, you'll at least get what I'm using at the time. So thanks for watching and uh, you guys take care. I'll see you again. Bye.